Hey guys, Sandy here, and welcome back to my channel. Today I am playing in my December project. Now, I am not on time with my days. The last day I have done is the 10th, and I don't think I'm going to do um, day 11 story. Uh, it's been a long, long, long day at work, and I don't want to think about writing a story, and I don't want to think about... Um, doing something super meaningful. So today I'm just going to play with some of the unfinished in-between things that I need to do. So let's see what I can do. All right. Now my original plan was to do something fun with the tag, uh, but I decided not to do that. I decided to go ahead and do this filler page that is on the back of my day two. Now the, the front, um, Actually, this is the back of a filler page. Um, it's next to my day two. The front of it is that Christmas tree-esque pocket, shaker pocket that I made. And I just decided to put some pretty stuff on the back of the album over here. Now, as I was flipping through my album, I felt like there was a lot of dark in here. But there wasn't a lot of light and bright. And I definitely want there to be a balance of dark and light and bright. So I am going to go ahead and make the light and bright. I have this silver foil paper. It has little dots and uh, stars on it. So I went ahead and cut that down so that it covered up the back of my shaker area. So basically I cut it down to six by eight and a quarter because um, that is basically what my shaker pocket size is. Um, so I have that as my background and now I'm just going to put a couple little things on the front. So this pocket uh, the six by eight page protector um, is pretty is pretty thick already because it's got that full page shaker on it. So I knew I wasn't going to put anything super huge, super thick, super layered uh, on this side of it. I do add some puffy stickers, but I'm not going to pop anything up. I'm not going to add tool underneath of it. Now that mm, now that I said that, I think I might want to go back and add some tool. Yeah, no, you know what? No, we're not going to. I like the way that the page came out. And like I said, I've already got that thick pocket uh, in there because of the shaker. So we're, we're not going to do that. We're just going to love what we have. Um, I did go ahead and use my Bria Reese alcohol ink again on this um, plasticky type star. I don't know exactly what the material is. Um, it feels like plastic, um, but I don't, I got it at Tuesday morning. It's a Studio Calico um, item, so I'm not exactly sure what it is. It isn't acetate. It feels like a plastic. I was just touching it if you, if you heard me doing that. Now I'm going to go ahead and pick out a few little squares that I like. So I picked out the Very Merry. I also picked out the present that says no peeking, uh, the record player, and this little heart on top of the plaid, and a piece of a Christmas tree. So now I'm just trying to figure out where I want them to go on the page and what I like. So I do like the star uh, here uh, in the center on the right. Um, I just like the way that this looks. Um, I feel like it's it's kind of balanced, and I didn't want the cream-based ones to be next to each other. Um, that was super important to me, so I decided to put those um, on the diagonal across from each other. Now, I'm just picking out little bits and pieces to decorate, um, because that's really all this page is, is a decoration. Um, there's no journaling, there's no photo, there's no nothing. This entire page protector is basically filler. Now... I've talked about this before, um, but if you are new to the channel, if you're new to the December project, my December project is just, you know, me doing it the way I want to do it. And I don't put the stress on myself to tell the story of every day, like, oh my goodness, am I going to find a story for today? Um, because today's story would have not been a great story. It would have been me, um, you know working my little tail off at work today uh, because <laughs> Christmas shopping is a real thing. Um, I doubled my move ring today. I also doubled my exercise goal today um, on my Apple Watch, if you guys know what I'm talking about. So, And I did that yesterday as well. So 
there really isn't anything, and I don't want to talk about that in my Christmas project. Um, my little Christmas project books are little, little books of happy Christmas joy. Um, even when I talk about, you know, missing, uh, friends and family and, and children not being home, even when I have those things of, I want to say a little bit of grief in the album, they're mostly like the fun things. Like this is my, these are my little albums of joy. If I have a minute, I will, I will look through them and they just bring me joy. So I really don't want to put the, the story of work in, in there. Do you know what I mean? Sometimes I have work stories in here. Sometimes I don't. This time is not what I want to do. So I'm just looking around and seeing what else I can do just to add a little bit of something to this, um, to these squares. So I do find this little I love the holidays. I'm going to trim it down because it basically stretches all the way across the square and I don't want that to happen. Uh, you might have noticed that I put that silver star on top of the Christmas tree. Um, you do see a little bit of the yellow underneath of it. I'm not going to trip over that. I'm just going to leave the star on there and let it go. Like, that's not going to be something that bothers me. Um, if it bothers you, uh, don't do that kind of thing. Make sure you get a star that will completely cover it up. But like I said, I'm not going to sweat it. It doesn't bother me. I like the little pretty decorations and that's what's going to make me happy so that's what we're going to do I'm just looking at this to try to decide if there's something else I want to do now I do want to use that big old Santa um that big old Santa in the sleigh because I just think it's adorable so I got to figure out if that's going to go in the December project or if I'm just going to use that in my scrapbooking um for this year but we'll figure that out I do overlap a puffy present over top of the printed present on that square. And then I'm just going to add a little bit of adhesive down uh, on top of the star. And you really can't see it underneath of that. Um, so I'm not going to stress about that either because you really can't see it. So now I'm thinking I need a little something. Now my original plan was to put a little something on the record player. Um, I didn't like that little heart, uh, so I nestled it over there on top of the Christmas ornament. And then I went and pulled out my Paper House puffy stickers, and I decided that this little snowflake guy actually needed to nestle uh, over top of the ornament and the heart instead of that red heart. I just felt like that looked better. I thought about bringing the red heart down to the Isle of the Holidays. Mm, it didn't work. Oh, I you know what? I probably could have put it over top the heart and had the puffy heart to say I puffy heart the holidays. Mm, where is that puffy heart? We might do that while we're chatting. Eh, no, we're not because I don't know where it is. <laughs> it's a mess. I thought about bringing in those leaves um, to go across the Isle of the Holidays as well. Um, but I wasn't, I wasn't really feeling that either. And then I look at it and I'm like, you know what? This little page makes me happy. So I'm going to put it in the album and then I am going to call that one done. So there it is, you guys. Just something cute that makes me happy in my December project. It's one of those times where I just make something Christmassy because that's what I like and that's what I need at the end of a very long day at work. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you again real soon for another video.